If you like classic style, then you may think trying to incorporate some leopard print into your wardrobe is going to be difficult, but actual fact, it's much easier than you think. In today's video, I'm going to show you some really classy but very subtle ways that it can be done. Leopard print shoes make a great addition to a shoe collection, and they work incredibly well with classic pieces like camel coats and black jeans. This is a fabulous outfit with leopard print heels. Exactly the same outfit though could be done with leopard print flats like ballerinas. This is a similar look with similar colours but with a camel cardigan and white shirt. Camel and black and a hint of animal print really pair well together. Adding some white looks nice too, maybe some white jeans. I actually like wearing them with all white underneath and a camel blazer and a variation on that would be to add a camel top. These ones I'm wearing are from Bowden. They come with a buckle which I kind of wish wasn't on there so I may try and remove that but some others I found are these from Hobbs which funnily enough are called Gemma. These ones here are from Amazon. These are from Nordstrom. If you have problem feet I recommend these from Color Shoes and if you've got a bigger budget these are quite lovely from Aquazura and I'll link all of these below for you. Another way I love to add leopard print is to wear all white with a trench coat and heels. This is a look from a while back but I still wear this today. One other way leopard print shoes could be worn is with a print. I went from thoroughly disliking this combination to absolutely loving it. So if you have a striped top and either black or blue jeans you could try it with whatever you have. I've tried it with black and with a black striped top and put it with a camel blazer from Reese and a crossbody bag. It's a great way to mix prints and include a really subtle touch of animal print into your wardrobe. Most women will have a brown or a black belt in their wardrobe or perhaps both but sometimes it can feel a little bit repetitive wearing them. An animal print belt can add some interest to an outfit and they go great with blazers and jeans. This is one I just bought from Marks and Spencers. So I've tried it with black, red and camel which works well together. I've also tried it with black and camel. If you've got an animal print belt you could try wearing it over a blazer or you could put it with stripes like I showed you with the shoes but with a belt instead. I've tried this myself but with black jeans. You could double up and wear leopard print shoes and a bag. It's not too much and can still look understated. This outfit I'm wearing looks a little bit more like a work sort of smart outfit with a white shirt and, and trench coat but it can be worn simply for an evening look or even a daytime look. I'd swap the heels for some flats for a casual look and for an evening look I'd change the trench coat for a blazer. I probably still wear heels but I may wear some nude, tan or black ones and I'd add some gold jewellery. Gold and animal print look divine together. They complement each other so beautifully. So with the leopard print belt I'd add a gold necklace and a bracelet and maybe a gold watch as well. The necklace that I'm wearing is from Monica Vinida. It, it's the Alta Capture Charm necklace and I think it's just the perfect piece to wear with a white shirt just frames the neck just beautifully. Now I love the very delicate sort of barely there necklaces. I wear this one a lot. This is the small stone diamond necklace. It looks very subtle and it's kind of got a, a very understated elegance to it. And this one looks lovely underneath shirts. And I do have this one which I haven't showed you before with a little heart which could be layered with other chains but I like it just on its own. It really is very pretty. I've always loved heart things ever since I was young. Heart pencils, heart pencil cases, heart rings, I had it all and I still love hearts now. This one also looks very delicate and very subtle worn underneath shirts. These are all lovely but sometimes you need something a little bit bigger that makes a bit more of a statement and this one definitely does that. It's 18 karat gold vermeil. It is adjustable so the links can be removed really easily so you can wear it more like a choker like I'm wearing it now or you could wear it with a little extension like a little tail and with that you could add a pendant to the end. Now I've tried it with the pearl charm and I love that on the end. I could wear it at the front like this but I also think it would look lovely worn at the back especially with the dress that has a really nice V cut into the back. The pendant could just sit beautifully in that V. I think that would look fabulous. Now I did want to show you this bracelet from Monica Vinader as well. If you like chain bracelets that aren't too chunky but not too fine either then you should like this one. Now this is the vintage charm bracelet. You could wear this layered or it looks just as lovely worn on its own and you can add pendants to it as well. I think it works perfectly with the guiding star pendant. 
I wear this pendant sometimes with a necklace and then sometimes I wear it with a bracelet as well. It really just depends how I'm feeling. Now the lovely ladies at Monica Vinida have given me a discount code for you. All the details will be below as well as a link to all the beautiful pieces that I've shown you today. If you feel confident wearing bold prints, then a leopard print skirt worn with a black turtleneck or a crew neck sweater can look terrific. I mentioned a turtleneck sweater, but any kind of black top works, but a tighter fitter one tends to work better. And then simply pair the skirt with heels or boots. It doesn't get any simpler and looks very classy paired with the classic pieces. If you did want to do a look like this, then this skirt is from Mango and this one here is from Amazon. There's quite a few satin and silk style skirts available. And either style looked lovely warm with the black top. A leopard print top, either cut in a really beautiful style or made from a beautiful fabric, can work wonderfully well as part of a classic wardrobe collection. Blouses in chiffon paired with black bottoms of some kind look simple and understated. It looks great with black bottoms and a trench. This is a look I do regularly, but it looks equally as good with white. This top is from Reese now reduced to £50 and it's been put together with a brown belt and the white jeans and it all looks great together. This here is another outfit I do regularly. This lady actually posted this outfit in 2014 but you know I think it looks just as good today. It's just white jeans, black blazer and an animal print top. Leopard print bags can look very nice depending what you pair them with. In my opinion it's best to wear this print with either black camel, white or cream for a very sleek look. It just blends the best with those colours. The print elevates an otherwise plain outfit but it doesn't overpower it. Just keeps it simple and stylish. Perhaps the most sophisticated way to wear some leopard print is to wear a scarf in the print. Now, depending on the size, you could wear the scarf around your neck, in your hair, or perhaps even on your bag. If you have a small square scarf like this one from Lily Silk, which is only £30, you could tie it in your hair. A longer chiffon or silk scarf could be draped around the neck or even worn as a belt. This is a lovely look with a scarf worn as a belt. A longer, thicker one could be paired with grey, white, black and tan. There's quite a few colours there mixed together, but you can see it does work. It looks terrific with white jeans and a black coat and black bag. And it also looks nice with camel, either a blazer, a sweater, coat or even a cardigan. And put those together with some white jeans and you have a very nice colour combination with very simple pieces. There's lots of wonderful ways that you can tie a scarf like this. So if you want to see more ways to do it, then watch this video here.